I think what's needed now is no less than spiritual revolution within society. Society has reached this crux point. The industrial military complex is taking over day by day. It is controlling and accelerating control in all aspects of our lives and spiritual people the world over really need to stand up and do something about it. If you look at the whole interplay within our lives. If you look, for example, at the food chain, the industrial food chain, as if in the beginning it wasn't difficult, challenging enough with preservatives, with pesticides, with coloring, with packaging, with flying the food thousands of miles to get to your dinner plate. If that wasn't enough, now you've got the whole insertion of GMO, genetically modified organisms, surreptitiously slipped into the system with, as, with minimal labeling, minimal advertising, just getting people addicted to that whole food chain. And what that means, what is GMO going to do to people in the long run? What is it going to do to the surface of our planet, to the topsoils, to the other plants, the other agriculture that's going to be inf infected by this. And then you've got geoengineering, the chemtrails, and the irradiation of, of heavy metals within our environment, which we're breathing in and taking into our bodies. What is that going to do in the long run? What is that? How is that polluting our bodies right now? What is it doing to us? And the whole acceleration of electrosmog with mobile phones and Wi-Fi and electrical gadgets. What about all of this? How is this beginning to accelerate and consume our lives? What is it doing to humanity? To me, it is accelerating a downgrade in human beingness, in our interconnectivity with the whole of life. It's becoming increasingly challenging just to be human, be authentic here in this environment. We know this awakening is happening where people are reconnecting to the divine. You know, society has placed this barrier between us and higher spiritual awareness. It's almost purposefully done that. You'd have to assume because of the success, because of the way its insidious nature and how it has been inculcated within society, you'd have to assume that it was almost designed that way. And it's been very effective at separating consciousness, at dividing humanity from our divine inheritance. But now cosmic energies are beginning to awaken within people and drawing close to the earth. Cosmic energies that are awakening frequencies within us and star seeds, souls that have come from other constellations in the universe, who've come here at this time, specifically at this time, for this great challenge that we are now facing. Carrying frequencies that can nullify the effects, the interference, the intervention of this opposing consciousness which is controlling society and accelerating day by day. But these star souls, these star seeds, they carry these incredible frequencies that can nullify the effects of that and resonate frequencies that start to awaken others, that you can feel inside. You can just sit in the presence of that energy 
and it's enough to help resonate something within you. So this is a monumental time to be here, a monumental time to be alive, a monumental time to be witnessing these shifts and changes going on, but we have to play our part within that. It's no use any longer just saying, well, okay, I'm going to be spiritual in my spare time or when I go on a course or a retreat. It's not enough to do that anymore. Humanity, the future of humanity, is hanging in the balance. We have reached this crux point. And therefore, we need to take our destiny back into our own hands. We need to reclaim our spiritual power. And, mo and most importantly, we need to express that in every single action that we take, every word we speak, every breath we breathe. We need to be expressing that within society, within our lives, in our relationships, in our jobs, our careers, at play, at rest. We need to live it moment by moment, step by step. How do we do that? Well, the first step is recognition. Recognition of what is really taking place all around you right now. How the media is being controlled to pull the wool over people's eyes. How the real stories of what's going on are being left out of the news so that we're being sold a deception, an illusion, a lie. Day in, day out. We need to accept that. And then we need to accept, well, who is really running this show? What is their purpose? What is their agenda? What are they really doing? Because you'd have to assume their purpose is control, dehumanization, slavery. It, practically, yes, slavery. The undermining of your very consciousness, because that's the effect of it. So recognition of that is the first key. And then acceptance of it, as, as strange as it seems, as strange as it may sound, acceptance of it first. Yes, this is all going on, but why is it going on? It's because my very own karma of control has created this control system. Because when we came here as human beings, we lacked the trust to be able to rely upon the divine and on Gaia to provide the, the needs, our daily needs. We lacked that trust. And so we sought about trying to control the environment, control our existence. We didn't trust. And as such, we created that karma that we're now have brought to us in this control system. So acceptance is the second key. Acceptance of what's going on. Accepting the perfection of the universe. That by the law of attraction, we only ever draw to ourselves exactly what we need to, to experience, to reflect who we are. To show us both the positive and negative so that we can evolve and grow out of that dynamic. So acceptance is the next key. The third key is deep exploration of your feelings in relation to what's going on. So as you witness what's going on in society and what's going on in your lives, for example, with teenagers today, if you have children, how are your children being affected by computer games and Facebook and Wi-Fi and all of these things? Junk in our foods. What is it doing to their nature? How is it exciting them inside with these excitotoxins so they can't pay attention, can't focus? What is it doing to them? How do you feel about that? Or when there's injustice? 
when 1% of the population own practically most of the wealth, and yet billions are starving or living on or near the breadline. How do you feel about that? What does it do to you inside when people are mistreated, when the environment is mistreated, and a wholesale destruction of the environment that society is accelerating ever further. How do you feel about that? What does it do to you inside? And so being honest, not distancing yourself from it, because to live in some illusionary bliss of false love and light, well, that's not going to change anything. You're not engaging with society. How can you change it if you're not engaged with it? How can you change it if you've distanced yourself from it? We need to bring our consciousness to bear right into the heart of it. We need to be in the depths of that density. We need to feel it. And as we feel it, then what happens is we feel our attachment in that density. We feel where fragments of our soul have broken off and become lost in that density. And as we get into the feelings, it's like we stir up the sediment at the base of the stream. And as we stir up the sediment, we reclaim those lost nuggets of soul gold. And we integrate them, we reintegrate them inside and become whole again. And it means you can look at those situations of injustice, inequity you see in the world around you. You can look that beast in the eye and not retract from it, but say, this is who I am. I stand here in my truth, in my power. I'm not going to fight you, because fighting just brings me into your territory. Fighting is just based on fear, hate, and sense of lack. Well, I don't have sense of lack. I feel whole and complete, but I'm going to stand in my truth. I'm going to stand in my power, and I'm going to express me. And in the expression of me, I liberate my soul. So I must go deep into this density. I must reclaim the lost fragments of soul gold. And when I do that, lower and higher self unite as one. And when they unite as one, I am like a channel from the source. I am channeling, I am amplifying light that is coming down through my being and expressing into society. And this is the only way it can change. You know, we can look at the outside world, we can look into the mirror, we can say, well, that's wrong, that doesn't serve us, that's injustice, inequity. We can say that, we can look at that. But until you channel, amplify energy through you, you are never going to change the patterns. You can change the circumstances, but not the patterns. We don't truly evolve and grow unless we fully embody and express. That's what's needed now. That's what we need to do. That's what more and more people around the earth need to start standing up and doing right now. It's not enough just to be aware of this spirituality. It's not enough just to be connected. What's needed now is a full-scale spiritual revolution, not fighting. Not fighting, no. Non-compliance. Non-compliance of the systems that we see in society that are unjust, inequitable, disharmonious. Non-compliance with these things. And instead, allowing our soul to speak through us, expressing a new way, a higher harmony of unconditional love for all life, not just one form of life, for the animals, for the plant kingdom, for the environment, for Gaia. And if we can feel that connection and let it express through us, then these ripples of cosmic consciousness will infuse our being, spread through our field, 
and into the wider world. That's what's needed right now. Humanity is at this crux point. It is no less important, no less serious than that. And it requires spiritual people to stand up and express who they are right now.